Hi everyone, welcome to Kriti's Tutorials. In today's class, we are going to discuss about an interesting topic which is, um, which is more prominent in many people's life. Nowadays, eating of the food has become so fascinating so that many are getting prompt to many diseases. Out of most complications among various diseases, the most the, the leading place goes to hyperglycemia, that is diabetes mellitus. What is diabetes mellitus? This is a condition in which our body cells are not able to take up the sugar, which causes large amount of uh, glucose content in our bloodstream, which uh, ultimately makes uh, many organs in our body for malfunctioning. So when you eat the food, when we eat the food, the food gets digested in our body and the digested food as we all as we all aware of the digested food containing carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals whatever the main carbohydrates are the energy fuels to our each and every body cells these carbohydrates contains sugar particles these sugar particles are taken into our cells with the help of a hormone, endocrine hormone called as insulin. Insulin, it is a hormone secreted by the pancreas which is present just below our stomach in our body. When the carbohydrates are taken up, these carbohydrates are, are absorbed inside the cell only because of this insulin hormone. So, this insulin hormone, it, it unlocks the walls of the cells which are, uh, which are present in our body and these, these small pores which happens in the cells, it helps in the absorption of the uh, sugars which are, which are reabsorbed in the form of carbohydrates. So, this is what happening. Now, what is the case of diabetes mellitus? When we are talking about the diabetes mellitus, it is categorized into two major types. The first one is type 1 diabetes. So type 1 diabetes, generally we call it as an autoimmune disorders. Type 1 diabetes is all, it is called as the autoimmune disorders. Why? Because our body cells itself kills the cells in the pancreas which are secreting the insulin hormone. So, which results in the uh, non-production of the insulin hormone, which is uh, which is going to harm us in the drastic manner. Generally, this type of type one diabetes it is observed in small children, that is infants. Okay, so infants and younger adults, younger adults may feel this this type of complication, and this type one diabetes we call it as. Ju Juvenile uh, diabetes and it is called as uh, insulin dependent diabetes. Okay, so our body requires some insulin with the help of some external source. External source like uh, like having the insulin injections. So these are the external source which are going to give uh, give our body the insulin hormone. Clear? So, what are the risk factors of this type 1 diabetes? So, what this type 1 diabetes is going to do? See, generally, how this complication, this complication is generally a family history oriented disorder. Okay, we can say it as a, uh, as a genetic disorder. And this may cause due to some injuries in the pancreas. Okay, if you have that is some small surgery in the pancreas or you may you may feel some you may you may be uh, uh, met with some accident. So in such cases the pancreas the cells of the insulin producing uh, in the pancreas may get disturbed and damaged which results in type 1 diabetes. Then uh, presence of some auto antibodies. What are antibodies? Antibodies are nothing but the uh, the cells which are fighting against any foreign microorganisms which are causing any diseases in your body. 
But now this auto antibodies or the type of cells which kills our own cells in our body. So likewise if any cells are being created to destroy the insulin secreting cells which results in this uh, type 1 diabetes. Next the most important factor which every human being faces is stress. This stress is going to be the major factor for auto destruction of our own body cells which is causing the disease. And this stress is going to be the basic criteria which is going to, uh, which is going to trigger out such type of uh, health, health issues in our body. Then exposing ourselves to any viral infection. Nowadays we are very familiar with our uh, COVID-19. All the some of the viral infections which may which may cause some uh, uh, what is that some defect in the pancreas may lead to type one diabetes. So coming to the next type that is type two diabetes. So coming to the type two diabetes, our body our pancreas produces insulin, but the amount of insulin secreted by the pancreas it is not sufficient to meet out uh, to uh, meet out to produce the energy fuels in our body and that insulin is not uh, sufficient to observe all the glucose contents in our body which results to again the increase in the blood stream sugar glucose blood stream in our body in our blood so again it results in the diabetes mellitus and we call this type of diabetes as type 2 diabetes so what happens in type 2 diabetes see there are two major causes one is i have as i have told you earlier there is no enough uh, enough amount of insulin present in our body and in the second case our cells they do not respond to the insulin when the, when our when our cells as i have told you in the beginning the the, the walls of the cells it open up because of the insulin when the insulin act upon the cells the cells do not respond towards the insulin to open up the wall so that the glucose enters inside so when this condition fails again the person may faces with some type of diabetes and that is called as the type 2 diabetes so how does this type 2 diabetes occurs this type 2 diabetes it is also it is also occurring based on the family history we can call it this is also a genetical disorder and the most the most important thing for type 2 diabetes is obesity so being overweight it is it is it is a most important problem for this type 2 diabetes then high blood pressure high blood pressure then uh, coming to the high blood pressure we can say then very less amount of low, good cholesterol very high amount of uh, bad cholesterols and excessive amount of triglycerides and this is also uh, this is also the most important factor for type 2 diabetes and a person who is very lazy and who is physically inactive who is always sitting and doing some works the people generally the software engineers who are uh, completely sitting on the more sitting on in the front of monitors to do to do their programs and all those things they are physically inactive they sit for they sit for a longer period hours together so their body requires minimal metabolic metabolic activities to uh, to do something with the absorbed energy nutrients so at least they should have a little little exercise in between they should not continuously see towards the monitor they should not sit sit in a place for a longer time so this causes this causes some this causes the accumulation of uh, carbs carbs in your body which ultimately results in the diabetes disease then a uh, smoker Okay, people will be having stress to to uh, uh, to burst out their stress. They smoke. One more factor: uh, the people who are uh, who are in the parties with their friends. They nowadays the smoking has become uh, a fa a fashion. So this uh, during smoking they may get good feel, but 
the disaster after smoking is going to be very very dangerous so uh, this smoking is also becoming a basic criteria for type 2 diabetes yes now let us discuss about the symptoms symptoms what are the the people who are facing some some changes in their body which makes them feel that they are affected with some disease so that we call it as a symptom so let us discuss about these symptoms which is uh, which is very important for this diabetes disease the first one is increased thirst the people will be prone to drink more amount of water then they feel very weak they feel very tired then they have blurred vision they cannot see properly then they will be having uh, what is that as a sort of tensed mindset always they will be always tensed they they always think about something they will be fickle minded then they go for frequent urination so there are a lot of a uh, lot of symptoms based on these uh, based on these diabetes disease now why do we why do we most uh, stress on this diabetes disease because the complication of this diabetes disease is very very dangerous and it even leads to the death of the individual so how what are the complications we are, we, we, are, we will face if we are having high uh, high amount of sugar in our body the first one is cardiovascular tissue issues so the heart related problems like chest pain heart attack high blood pressure high cholesterol all these so all these are the basic factors main complications of these diabetes disease next one neuropathy our nerves become so weak so we get numbness on your on our body on our on our uh, fingers or in the toes you feel a lot of numbness then kidney failure so the next one retinopathy your retina of the eye is completely damaged your all the all the uh, nerves all the blood vessels which is supplying oxygen to your blood carries excessive sugar also which ultimately leads to the uh, blind blind condition next one skin infections you get some rashes you get some uh, infections which are prone to yeast infections all these are the all these are said to be some of the main complications which happens because of this diabetes disease so how come you diagnose yourself that you are affected with this disease here in fasting if the nor if a person is normal his blood sugar level should be less than 100 if in fasting in fasting if your blood glucose level is less than 100 you don't have any diabetes then pre diabetic pre diabetic means what this is not uh, chronic right so these are all begin beginners so for these uh, pre diabetic the range is around 100 to 120 in fasting so the diabetic patient their their uh, range if the range exceeds more than 126 we call it we call such person as the diabetic patients then if you are if you are going to a hospital for some treatment and if the doctors ask if you are having diabetes and you you have not uh, you have not seen you don't have any any history on this diabetes and you are being uh, asked to give for the sugar test randomly if if the random test is done here also there are some readings which determine your diabetic or non diabetic so in the in random blood sugar in normal condition it it can be up to 140 okay so it can be up to 140 in random blood sugar and the in pre diabetic condition if the if the range uh, if the if the uh, level ranges from 140 to 200 it is said to be normal and if the sugar content is high if the sugar in random blood sugar if it is greater than 200 you are absolutely diabetic then coming to the 
coming to this uh, management how can we treat the diabetes before that i would like to ask you a question Do, does eating sugary food causes diabetes straight away no the uh, eating up the sugar substances will not give you diabetes disease but what happens there let me explain when you eat when you eat the uh, sugar rich food when you are having a sugar rich food automatically this sugar rich food will enter inside our body it gets digested and as we all know that the sugar is nothing but the carbohydrates it gives weight gain to your body when you are having weight gain in the complications we have seen for type 2 diabetes is as obesity when our body mass index is larger than the normal level what happens obviously we will be prone to this diabetic infection so eating up um, having some misconception that eating sugary food causes diabetes directly no when it gets digested it it uh, results in increase your body weight when the when the body weight is increased obviously we can say that this leads to the uh, overweight which is which we call it as obesity so the pancreas the insulin producing cells in pancreas will not be the insulin produced by pancreas will not be uh, will will not be sufficient to uh, meet out the requirements of our body cells which results in again again it will again result in the increased amount of the uh, sugar content in your blood stream that results in the diabetes disease so how to how to overcome such problems see generally prevention is better than cure we all know that so we have to be very very careful on these conditions and so we have to Uh, above certain age try to have your body health check up regularly so take uh, take care of your uh, take care of your uh, readings of your sugar levels and you have to maintain the cholesterol content when you when you are when you are identified as diabetic do not forget to take cholesterol and bp tests regularly because this is going this is a very very important thing which we want to know because balancing the cholesterol level balancing the sugar level balancing the uh, blood pressure equally is going to protect you for a longer period without any uh, without any chronic complications so generally next one taking uh, taking balanced food that is our food must contain large amount of fibers then we should have less fat and low calorie food then at least do exercises for 30 minutes bp and sugar levels should be balanced stop smoking and one more thing i want to discuss it is when these when these diabetic disease comes automatically your uh, your body will be very your body system will become very very weak as there is no sugar inside your cells your your body will be you will be losing some fuels as the uh, as no amount of sugar substances is entering inside your cells when these condition occurs it is very easy for any type of microorganism to cause disease in your body the most common common disease we can face is the urinary tract infection you get uh, you get lot of itchings in your genital areas which is ultimately which is going to ultimately uh, create some problem that infection may go still deeper and it may attack your kidneys also so my dear my dear people so please keep in mind that prevention is always better than cure take healthy food maintain correct body mass index regulate your regulate your body uh, in a proper way by eating some healthy foods if you have any bad habits just quit it off do do meditations do some exercises keep your keep your mind and body always fresh if you don't have any work please uh, uh, move in search of some work which makes you busy 
when you are busy automatically your physical body will be active sitting together sitting together for a longer period and being idle is going to absolutely make you obese and you are you will be prone to many other health complications this is one such there are a lot of complications so uh, try to try to uh, avoid try to avoid uh, uh, things which are uh, going to create some uh, harm harmness in your body so with this i end this topic have a nice day do subscribe my channel and in next class i'll meet you with some other interesting disease thank you